All right, good day, Country Club Hills residents. I'm Eric Booker, and of course, this is Principal Brazil at Meadowview. You all know where the school is. Listen, this year, they're having their annual field day. It's always a great time. Uh, the kids are out having fun here in Community Park. They're actually in a couple of different locations. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. They had a tour at the fire station. It is just another great year for field day at Meadowview. So first, Principal Brazil, thank you for talking to me today, man. Quite honored to be here. Absolutely. Listen, okay, so for those that may not know, even though most of our residents know about it, what exactly is field day? Field day is more like the last culminating day for all of our students at the school. So all of their hard work, great behavior, great academics, we're rewarding them for that. So it's a three day trip for each one of the students. Um, and it's three different types of trips on each individual day. So one day they would have skating. Um, that will be at a local area skating rink. So this year we are using uh, Glenwood Skate and also nice. Tin Tinley Skate okay. skating rink. Mm -hmm. um, last year we used Glenwood. Yep. Um, and then the second one is actually here at the park. Yep. Here yep. At Community yep. Park. Yep. They like yep. to use our area. Right. And the last one is actually at the school. Okay. And they'll have activities. So each individual um, act, um, area has their different activities. So here at the park we do a complete nature walk. So we walk from the school, escorted yep. by Country Club Hills Police. Nice. And then um, we also have a tour of the fire department, yes. which they were very glad to actually help us and assist us with that. Yeah. Then our PE teacher um, has several activities like soccer, uh, kick baseball, flag football. We have the playground, we yeah. have water balloon fights, as I'm still I can right see. now. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we enjoy the day, so we have some great outdoor fun because a lot of our kids don't get to really enjoy outdoors. Yep. They're more inside, especially from COVID. They really didn't learn how to play. Exactly. So, um, and at school, we have a lot of activities. We have okay. like um, uh, the spoon race with the uh, oh yeah, uh, with the egg uh, on the, it. Or... No, actually, it's a uh, uh, ping pong ball. Yeah, yeah. So, like you know, want to keep the mess, yeah. so, you know, limited. <laughs> right, right, you know, right. Sometimes they do, most of the time they drop. Yeah, so yeah. we do that, and uh, we have like tug of war. We have basketball. We have bowling, like the hallway bowling. Um, we have a whole bunch of indoor and outdoor activities. Now we had it set up in case it rained, which is our contingency plan like yesterday. Yep. Um, this group would have been at the school and we have an additional set of activities for them to do as well. Okay. So the activities run from nine o'clock to okay. one o'clock. Okay. So everybody departs at nine o'clock to their locations yeah. and then they end at one o'clock. Lunch is at 11.30 for everyone. And lunch is delivered here free of charge for everything. Um, and like I said, all of our students get to enjoy it. Um, and it's a, a fun, it's a fun time. It's like the, fun time. the question that comes to mind is how do you do it? I'm, I'm understand you, the process Teamwork of delegation. Teamwork works, man. But Teamwork this is works. A lot. This is yes, probably is. the biggest field day that I've done that yeah. I've covered. Yeah, it's it's yeah. I make it a big group lot, and it's like an incentive for the kids at the very beginning of the year. Yeah. So um, they know like we, I have some very strict criteria for them to be eligible yeah. for this, and so I start talking about it at the very beginning of the year. Very good. And um, I'm very strict with my rules. So when I take something away, it's gone. Yeah. It's permanent. Yeah. So. Yeah. The next year, the kids know that I mean exactly what I say, so they are on their best behavior all year round, and all right. they do real well. All right, so I got a uh, question for you. You see the work that they do throughout the year. Yep. Why is this important at this juncture of the year? I understand you mentioned this is the last hurrah. What do you expect the kids to walk away from field day with? They're heading into their summer vacation. What do you want them to leave? What impression do you want field day to have on them as they leave? Field day is supposed to be that day where they actually learn how to play with one another, okay. learn how to communicate with one another, yeah. understand that there's a big end or a big reward at the end of the school year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, camaraderie, they're going to miss each other. Like some of them might not be here next year okay. you know, at this district. They might yeah. go to other places. Yeah. Others are going to middle school. Yeah. Um, and things of that nature. So it's more of a, a kumbaya moment, a friendship moment, right, right, a right. Uh, you know learning how to play moment um, for the kids. And um, that's really what it is. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. All right, all right. So as we head into the summer, mm -hmm. some of these little faces you probably won't see until next year. Right, right. What advice would you give young folks that may be watching this program in terms of staying sharp throughout the uh, summer, being ready for the fall? Unfortunately, I know you're not looking forward to coming back in August. Oh, I do. I right? do. I, I, you know, I don't like the summers. I actually love the kids being around. They give me my energy. Absolutely. But what I do recommend for them to do is yep. keep their books up, um, their reading up. Yep. So read like 30 minutes a day, or at least a week, okay. you know, even. Um, this way it keeps them a little sharp and aware. Yep. Um, practice a few math, but math facts are key. Okay. Like it helps throughout. 
Okay. Um, refresh yourself with some of the things you learned throughout the school year. Yep. We send them home with packets that you know they get points and rewards for when they come back at the beginning of the school year. Absolutely. We also send them home with all of their um, what we call consumable books, you know, the little workbooks that yeah, they yeah. have. Moms and dads can practice with them at home to make sure that they stay fresh and they're ready for the next school year. So that's what I recommend to all parents, no matter what you do. Number one, read, 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 read. It yeah. helps them with all the academic content areas that they have. And then also practicing their mathematics, because that's always a difficult area yeah. for our students as well. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Guys, that is Principal Philip Brazil. He is in the driver's seat at Meadowview right here in Country Club Hills. He's doing a fantastic job. All these fabulous young people standing behind. Hey, did you guys do good this year? Yeah! All right, that's what I'm talking about. Good grades? Yeah! Y'all ready for the summer? Yeah! All right, all right. All right, guys, I'm Eric Booker. That is Principal Brazil. These are the lovely young men and young ladies. Hey, how many of you? <laughs> All right, guys, you are watching Country Club Hills Channel 4. I'm Eric Booker. Thanks for watching, guys.